How are you feeling? You got John Riggs here, and I love video game music. I've loved video game music ever since I can remember. Even back in the 80s when games like Moon Patrol and Frogger were out, I would take those video game songs and then learn how to play them on the piano, because I grew up playing the piano. And then even in high school when I took a piano class where I had piano recitals, I'd actually play like Final Fantasy music in front of uh, my peers. It was, it was kind of fun. This was all pre-internet too, so when the internet came out, I was blown away that there were other kids like me who liked video game music so much that they learned how to compose it themselves on violin, piano, whatever the case may be. These video game cover bands are awesome. And again, a great thing about attending video game conventions is sometimes they invite some of these bands to perform on stage, which is wonderful. Now recently at the Game On Expo in Phoenix, uh, my buddy Sam and I were talking about some other bands that, you know, like, oh, have you heard of this band? Have you heard of this band? And it got me thinking, maybe I should do a video. Like, here are 10 video game cover bands that maybe you haven't heard of yet, and I encourage you to check out. Now for this list, I wanted to do just straight up video game covers. Uh, not artists who take like samples of video games and remix it into something else. I'm a huge Mega Ran fan, you know that, um, but unfortunately that'll be another list for another time. And I wanted this list to be video game covers, not like original chiptune songs. So I'm a huge fan of Professor Shy Guy, but again, that'll be another list for another time. And also on this list, I didn't want to include channels that also did video game cover songs, you know what I mean? Like there are some great channels out there that, you know, that do movie songs and video game songs and anime songs and video games are like the, and also they do this. So I don't mind if it's a video game cover band that also does like an anime song here and there or something like that, but I wanted to focus mostly on bands that were you know, for, known for video game covers. How about that? And some of the bands on this list may not be super active on their YouTube channel, but maybe they have a SoundCloud or maybe you see them live every once in a while or something like that. So just something to keep an eye out for. Now, the very first band I want to talk about, I don't know if they're considered like the godfather of video game cover bands, but I got to talk about the mini bosses because that's who I discovered first. I discovered them back in the Napster days. So we're talking like late 90s. And then when I got a college radio show, um, I actually used to play them on the radio. And I thought it was like an awesome thing, you know? They're mostly known for their live shows. I mean, their YouTube channel doesn't really do a whole lot for themselves, um, but they're always on tour. So if you see mini bosses come to your town, you might want to check them out. It's cool now too, because they also incorporate who I assume are their children. So it's them playing on stage, and then it's like their kids are also playing on stage too. And they're really, really good. I mean, every single one of them is fantastic. So mini bosses. <laughs> The next band I want to talk about is Mariachi Entertainment System. It's MES. <laughs> and if they're live on stage, it's super MES because you get all of them. They are, this is going to be the weirdest analogy in the world, they are the Wu-Tang of Mariachi because every single one of the performers can play very well. And when you put them together, it's that much better. They do mariachi versions of your favorite video game songs. They're based out of Texas, so you're talking about places like PAX South. I know they've played there a couple of times at least. They do have a YouTube channel. Uh, they update it, you know, maybe a new song a month, something like that, but something to keep an eye out for, for sure. They are, they're very good. Check them out. <laughs> Next band I want to talk about is called Extra Lives. Extra Lives, they do great versions of songs, and they have several of them on their channel that are definitely worth checking out. It's cool because, I mean, they all look like they're friends anyway. Like, they just kind of hang out in their living room and just kind of jam out and play some songs, and they're done very well in according to what they kind of sounded like when you played them you know, back in the day. There's a word I'm looking for. It's like true to the music or something like that. I don't know. They, 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 they just sound awesome and they're called Extra Lives and um, and, and they, do, they do a cover of Paperboy. I mean, no, nobody's playing Paperboy. We got Banjo Guy Ollie. Banjo Guy Ollie plays a ton of instruments. It's not just the banjos, but there's also like a mandolin, uh, there's an accordion, uh, but he plays all of them and then mixes them together to create uh, this awesome music. That kind of like video game songs done kind of like through banjo, However, it still sounds completely crazy and awesome and phenomenal and very musically talented, no doubt indeed. In fact, if you played the new uh, Wonder Boy game, <laughs> um, there's like a beaver playing banjo named Ollie, and he's the inspiration for it. I think that was a wonderful thing to add uh, to that game. Now, Banjo Guy Ollie also happens to have a couple of like 80s TV themes like Airwolf. 
and Magnum PI and Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, and that's cool too. But definitely check out uh, his videos that he's done recently. Um, I'm a huge fan of his version of R Type. I'm a huge fan of his version of uh, the Adventures of Bayou Billy and stuff like that done on banjos. It's it's the way it was meant to be played. I mean, it was meant to be heard. And he still releases videos very regularly, so keep an eye out for his channel. <laughs> Now one of the bands that my buddy Sam brought up was Super Soul Brothers. Now Super Soul Brothers does video game tunes done in a jazzy, soulful way, and it just sounds so good. It's funny because after she mentioned Super Soul Brothers, I looked them up online, I was like, oh cool, I'm a fan, subscribe. Um, and then like a couple weeks later, I saw them at PAX West, just right there. I was like, oh hey, <laughs> I just found out about you guys. But they've been around for a long, long time. I don't know how I've missed them this whole time. But there's several people in the crew and they do kind of, they bring the funk and the soul and the jazziness to some classic video game tunes. Um, and they perform live very, very well. That's where I first saw them. In fact, as soon as I saw them, I bought like one of every CD that they had on the table. I was just like, all right, this is good. <laughs> I'll take, I'll take all of them. So we had Super Soul Brothers, now we have Super Thrash Brothers. <laughs> they do they do kind of thrash metal versions of video game tunes. Uh, saw them at Too Many Games last year, uh, performed wonderfully, uh, picked up their CD, it's still in my car today, and, and I'm a fan. I'm, I'm looking forward to seeing them again soon. In fact, quick plug, as of watching this video, talking about November 2nd and 3rd of 2019, if you happen to be at Retro Game Con in Syracuse, New York, I'm gonna be there, and Super Thrash Brothers are also gonna be there, so looking forward to seeing them perform again. <laughs> I'm not just adding him to the list because he's my friend. Uh, it is my pleasure to talk about Sergio and the Holograms. Uh, Sergio Alessandro, uh, talented musician. Again, he plays all of his own musical instruments. It's cool to see him live because when you see him live, he's called the Holograms because he's performing live and then his backup band is himself but in hologram form. He has these screens set up with projectors so it's like him also playing. It's it's a cool sight to see whenever you see him live. But his YouTube channel is also full of other songs and he's, um, I like it when he does the ukulele versions of songs. Like he'll have um, himself four times um, doing four different parts, but all in ukulele. I, I, it, it sounds it sounds very lush. How about that? It sounds, it sounds really cool. And anybody who covers a song from Princess Tomato in the Salad Kingdom got to be a buddy in my book. Sergio is also that guy who's kind of known for having his album on an NES cart that plays, but through some kind of like audio compression, so it doesn't sound like chip tunes. It sounds like his music coming through an NES card. I think it's pretty cool. Oh, and on top of the NES cards, he's also a home brewer. He, like, he makes his own Nintendo games, so that's kind of cool too. I just found out about this channel recently, and it looks like they're just kind of getting started. They've been around for a few months. It's called Chips and Cellos. Um, from what I understand, it's like a husband and wife duo, but they do, like, <laughs> they, they do a few different things on their channel, but what caught me off guard was classical tunes done through Mega Man's sound chip, or something like that. A lot of Mega Man, a lot of Castlevania type stuff on there. Um, it's cool to hear the arrangements uh, that are going on, but if, yeah, it just it's it's worth checking out. Like I said, uh, very very new channel. Just wanted to sing their praises. I mean, those classical tunes done through the Mega Man sound uh, sound awesome. <laughs> I would love to talk about Super Madness. Madness, spelled with like an N-E-S, like an N-E-S, Madness. Um, <laughs> uh, they're cool to see live too. I've seen them a couple of times, love their soundtrack, love their CD, love their music. Uh, they have a guitarist. In fact, now, um, last time I saw them, they had two guitarists, which is nice because uh, they do metal versions of songs, like metal versions of, they did the entire Batman soundtrack, the entire Castlevania 3 soundtrack, not just like one or two songs, the entire, you know, from A to Z, the entire song from those games. Um, the cool thing about them is with the guitar, um, that's what has the Nintendo sound to it. So it has that Nintendo sound that you remember, and then it has the metal drums, uh, the metal guitarists, uh, long hair, head banging, and everything, and then the, the guitar, which makes it sound so true and so awesome. And uh, that CD I've uh, purchased from them, I've listened to front to back. I don't have to skip any tracks, you just listen to it all the way through, and it's. Um, it's good. Super Madness, um, both their channel. Uh, they don't really do a whole lot with their YouTube channel, but if you ever see them live, coming to your town, uh, worth checking out, no doubt. Indeed. We 
We got the gaming Muso, Muso, something like that. <laughs> uh, this guitar covers. Um, there's a few channels out there that do something similar. Um, I, I like this guy and I like what he's doing with his guitar covers. Um, he covers uh, cool songs, songs from like Gradius 3 and songs from like uh, Outrun. Uh, but you want to check out the game Muso, something to add to your collection. And um, it, it's nice because he's just, he's a gamer. You can tell he's a gamer and he's just having fun. It's awesome. And he does, and he does a great job every time. <laughs> We have the 8-bit big band. The 8-bit big band. This is a big band of like, looks like 10 or 12 people, uh, but they're doing big band style cover tunes. They're like, as if it was done by like Frank Sinatra is singing along with the band behind him. That's what these video game cover tunes sound like. And there's a couple of other songs where it's like, hey, we're gonna do this song, but it's gonna sound like in this style, or this song sound in this style, but it still uses the big band format. Um, it's cool to see what they have and cool to check out their channel. Um, you never know what they're gonna do next. There are so many video game cover bands out there, I couldn't possibly know them all. So if you know of any of them that didn't make this list, make sure you let me know in the comments below so I can check them out personally. I would love to see what you know about that I don't. Please support your local musicians and please support live music wherever you can.